everybody, it's Emily from Avenida's Rose Kleiner Center. It's been six months since our center has been closed and I really miss seeing all of your faces. I'm hoping that today on this video, I can provide you a few minutes of a break and minutes of happiness. Right now we are six months in of the COVID outbreak and there's a lot of upsetting, disturbing news out there. So I found three good news stories that you might not hear about on the front page of the newspaper or the six o'clock news, but I'm hoping they will brighten your day. So the first story is in California and over in Butte County, they have found a way that a California highway has become the first road that's made completely entirely from recycled plastic. Caltrans use more than 150,000 single-use plastic bottles and they partnered with various companies to repave a one-mile stretch of a three-lane road. This was back in July. So this eco-friendly formula has been shown to be two to three times more durable than the traditional asphalt pavement. Not only is it more durable, but this generates 90% less greenhouse gas emissions than what the process currently is used by Caltrans. So this is a historic pilot project and they say they are so excited because this process is better for the environment. It keeps plastic bottles out of landfills and helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions. So that is some really good environmental news coming out of our state of California. On a global scale, the good news that just came out this week is that Africa has finally eradicated the wild polio virus from the entire continent. So back in 1996, African leaders of every country committed to eradicate polio. At that time, the virus was paralyzing an estimated 75,000 children annually. And so um, Nelson Mandela got um, the organizing effort started. And just this past week, there was an announcement that said it's a historic day for Africa, which has successfully met the certification criteria for wild polio eradication, with no cases reported in the region for four years. Uh, this is a momentous milestone. And the announcement that was just made last week marks the second eradication of a virus from the face of the African continent the last one was smallpox 40 years ago. So they are a much healthier, safer community. And that's the good news out of the international community. And the last story really made me smile. Um, might not be on that big scale, but there was just a world record broken for the world's oldest married couple. There is a couple in Ecuador that had their wedding nearly eight decades ago. They've been married for 79 years and they've officially been named the world's oldest married couple. Now get this, the husband, the man Julio, is 110 years old and the woman, Waldramina, is 104 years old. So they have an aggregate age of 214 years and 358 days. Since they've gotten married, they have five children, 11 grandchildren, 21 great-grandchildren, and nine great-great-grandchildren. They were asked for the advice or the secret for a long-lasting marriage. And this is what they shared. They said the secret formula is love, maturity, and mutual respect. It's true that at this time, it is very difficult because we are overwhelmed by the pandemic that's affecting the world and we do not have a solution. However, the first step for us is to follow the rules with respect and love life. And that was words of wisdom from the world's oldest married couple. So I'm hoping that I can come on every so often and share some of these good news stories. And I encourage you to take a look around the community because there are good things in the world happening on a big and small scale. So I hope you have a good day and I hope to see you soon. All right, take care.